big scheme of things in terms of housing supply, whether this this uh, decreases supply such that it would have a price driver. I haven't done that analysis. Uh, how, many, how many acres is there? Seven. Seven acres. So we've got over 900 lots already approved and planted within the city that haven't even been built on yet. Right. We have a significant uh, urban growth area that we're expanding to. It's probably nominal. 900 lots works for me. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a very long time of uh, inventory of what's already there. Yeah. Um, regarding the uses and uh, for this particular property, it does say that um, the conservation future fund shall dedicate the property to be acquired under terms of this agreement in perpetuity for the public's use and enjoyment and to promote the purposes of conservation in your future. So basically we are removing it from inventory for any possible future residential. Um, and who is the Conservation Futures Program Manager? Well, Clark County has one themselves. So it's a Clark County person. I think every... Oh, yeah. This person is going to be working with the city to um, help, I guess, were you on the one from the county or from the state? I am on the only one I have. I went to the restaurant and I came back. Something. <laughs> and you're on the one from the county, yes. You're yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that, that person is basically the go-to person as far as uh, the contract. Is that correct? It's my understanding. So it's not someone that we have to hire or employ or anything no, like that? No, Okay. All right. That's a service provider. Any other questions? Okay. Uh, Surplus old public workshop sharp copy. Yes, recently we were approved. We need public works to thank you, Suzanne. Please copy your thanks, Suzanne. And replace our copier that we originally purchased in 2005 since it is or was purchased with enterprise funds, water and sewer utility funds. Uh, it's appropriate that we physically surplus this via a public hearing. Yeah, that's so that's what we're asking of council. RJ, uh, can you put it on the same time as the lens? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, do we have other stuff that we want to combine this thing with? I should have we do that have. Earlier. We are looking, to, at least when a resolution portion of it, we do some items that are not enterprise fund related that will for mm -hmm. compiling that list starting today. Oh. We're moving gotcha. the guys back from the house. Mm -hmm. um, gotcha. Kelly McDonald's giving me a list of those items because some of them are busted, broken. We just want to have them surplus and I'll do it I think we might have a fire truck we could take advantage of too. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Again, it's, it's, it's stupid. No. Okay. And this was just saying about the carry. From an organizational efficiency and effectiveness standpoint, I've got to ask, why, why do we have to have a public hearing to dispose of something that we just replaced? It's got an RCW attached to it. Anything you buy from an enterprise fund, um, since it's hmm. bought by ratepayers, needs to have a, an official public hearing. Does anyone want to speak out for it? About it? Would you give? Would you send me an email with that in there? Yes, I want to take it to the state legislature. Should be a very short public hearing. Yeah, Betty. sure it will be. I'm sure. Any questions on this one? <laughs> Good. <laughs> uh, finance, Jennifer. Uh, PSA with our mother or RJ? RJ, okay. you want me to take it? Okay. Yeah. Um, we had both of these agenda bills before you back uh, a couple council meetings ago. Uh, this is to bring them back forward for your approval. Um, the first one is, uh, is uh, it says electronic payment system, and it's actually the debt collection piece of it. Sorry about that. Um, we want to use Armada Corp to, to be a, our collections agency in regards to those accounts that we cannot disrupt services, such for water. So those would be accounts that are sewer only, um, or there might be some kind of tenant versus owner grant where we can't disrupt services because they're in the tenants, uh, there's a tenant in there and we can't shut a water service for a tenant. We still want to collect them the owner just for cash flow. We also have, would like to use them 
uh, for some engineering estimates that we have on the community development side. So that was that's the first um, agreement with the MATA. The second one is the merchant agreement with CMS and net deposit. Our MATA acts as the uh, agent for um, for these two organizations, and this would uh, allow us to do online payments and take credit card payments via the front desk. Questions on either one of the items? So I've, I've got a question about the second one. So the second one is simply just to use them for using credit cards, debit cards. That's it. Yeah. Okay. On an unrelated topic, there is another agenda bill that we need to bring forward as a set public hearing for the budget here uh, for a public uh, for a budget. So, so set. We have to run it two weeks consecutively, and if we waited to November's council meeting for that, we would run into a problem. So we'll bring for just a set of public hearing for the mid-November um, public uh, hearing on the budget. Perfect. Any other questions for finance on any of these items? Okay, we're moving along now. I have no items for you. This evening, the only one I can think of I can do on Monday. David? This is quick. Michael, motor radar. Okay. Well, the resolution that I'm proposing is that, and there are a couple of minor tweaks that, that we need to have for clarity on this, would be a resolution prohibiting, uh, basically establishing that the city doesn't want to use photo enforcement radar as a policy. The reason that I chose to bring forward as a resolution is a couple of fold. In order uh, for a city in the state of Washington to have photo enforcement, and by the way, that includes uh, speed cameras in school districts, um, violations of uh, crossing uh, railroads, and uh, red light cameras. So those are the three types you can use legally under RCWs. In order to put it in place, you would have to have an ordinance authorizing the city to do it. Well, obviously, we don't have that on the books. Um, and it's, uh, I want to bring up this resolution uh, to allay some concerns out there with regards to raising revenue and finding other unique places to raise revenue. Um, and I want us to avoid this uh, particular avenue of using uh, this as a revenue stream. The main idea behind a resolution here is just saying this is our policy that we're not going to use photo enforcement. It is a current topic that's being talked about in other jurisdictions as well. And Mukilteo, uh, the city council, um, used some maneuvers to pass uh, an ordinance in support of, of them using it. They put it in place, and the citizens actually requested and found a way to put it on the ballot to um, have it, that as a referendum. And uh, that's going through the legal channels one way or the other, is whether or not it's going to be supported or whatnot. And if I understand correctly, so the state Supreme Court is allowing that to go through as a referendum. <clears throat> My understanding of this issue is that uh, there are many people who get caught by the dragnet of red light cameras specifically uh, who are not necessarily running a red light, as most people would understand it, but simply just haven't come to an absolute complete stop and turn on red. Uh, we only have you know, two, uh, uh, two traffic cameras. Well, if you don't count the uh, Highway 14. Uh, but in the city itself, I think we all, is it three? Three. I'm so sorry. Six. Six. Oh, yes. 